The Smart Wobbler Kit was an idea generated by Corbin Herman, Paul Saylor, Lane Ulmer, and Jonah Zimmerman for our senior design project at North Dakota State University. The idea stemmed from a group-wide mutual enjoyment of the outdoors and a hole that we saw in today's market. We wanted to make a smarter version of what was currently available to consumers that would allow for an increased capacity of random motion, thus throwing clay targets in a less predictable fashion. We designed the body of the machine mostly out of sheet metal. While those parts were sent off to chase steel to be laser cut and bent, Paul designed the gears to be cut using NDSU's wire EDM with the help of Adam, Frank, and Will. With parts in hand, Corbin worked with Mr. Choate to weld up major components. But when it came down to crunch time, Lane took charge of laying down some beads on our own. As parts were completed, it was time to make them look nice and do some weatherproofing. So Jonah set up his own little paint shop and went to town on them. After that, all that was left was a quick trip to the hardware store for the nuts and bolts. Now onto the nitty gritty. More accurately, the device we designed is a smart wobbler kit. It is designed to be compatible with any backyard trap thrower available to the average outdoor enthusiast. The motion of the device is controlled using two motors. One controls the horizontal rotation, the other controlling the vertical adjustment or pitching. The rotation is controlled by gear connecting to the shaft, which rotates the middle wobbler body from side to side as it sits on a turntable. Vertical motion is controlled by an arm, which has a slot for a peg connected to the topmost plate of the wobbler body. The second motor turns a gear attached to this arm, causing the arm to move side to side, subsequently raising and lowering the thrower mounting plate, allowing for higher or lower throws of clay targets. For the electronics of the wobbler kit, we chose to pursue an Arduino-based setup. This allowed straightforward programmability and easy connectivity to the components we plan to use. The electronic setup utilized the Arduino to run the motors through a motor driver, using the inputs of limit switches to determine when to switch the motor direction. With the current code, the wobbler randomizes the motor speed every time a limit switch is hit, enhancing the unpredictability of every clay thrown. In the end, we were successful in meeting our goal of building a thrower that keeps the sportsman on his toes. We would like to say a huge thank you to Dr. Kallemeyer and Do All Outdoors for helping us make our idea come to life. Your support was greatly appreciated and crucial to the success of our project.